A very warm welcome to our virtual stroll through the main exhibition with all 29 finalists from the 2022 Portraits Hellerau Photography Award. This is our venue, the Technische Sammlung in Dresden, a large museum with its own vast photography collection. We are featured here in the main exhibition room on the first floor, but it, as always, we also stage little interventions in the permanent collection. And uh, we are creating new perspectives on the collection, but also putting the photographic works into a new and, and sometimes unexpected context. That's always an exciting process, creating this exhibition. We started the Portraits Project in 20. 15. So on the first floor of the museum, we look back on our competition history, showcasing a dozen of our most memorable posters and annual themes, among them togetherness or uncovered or change or dignity. This year, the theme is counterparts, and you will discover this thread running through all the presented series in the exhibition, sometimes more visible, sometimes a little more hidden. We start out our visit with this mermaid from Jesse Eigner's work, Disidentifications. Jesse also provided the title image of our counterparts year, which the, the visitors will recognize from the posters, ads and so on. So all the prize winning series are presented in the main exhibition room. This is Daniel Seifert's series, Trabanten. You could, could translate that with satellites or satellite cities, I guess. And Daniel has been awarded the third prize this year. The second prize follows immediately. It is Alexander Komenda's Jove's Palace, about today's life in a little mining town in Kyrgyzstan, which used to be part of the Soviet atomic program during the 40s, 50s and 60s of the, of the 20th century. And directly opposite in the exhibition, we present Hannah Altman's series, A Permanent Home in the Mouth of the Sun. You might have watched Hannah's shout out video earlier on where she was explaining the ideas behind that work, which was awarded with the first prize by our jury this year. Now, that's a direct take on our counterparts motto. It is part of the Hanging On series by Svante Gullikson from Finland. Svante combines self-portraits in this work. Sometimes he also depicts friends or interacts with them. The images broach psychological issues and maladies, often using our relationship with nature and our surrounding as a metaphor. We are changing wall color and come to Tori Ferenc, who found out she was expecting a baby one month into a full national lockdown uh, with her husband she shared that time in their in their little apartment and uh, tori documented their their lives in this very important moment she's also featured in one of our satellite exhibitions in the new ropa gallery with another series of hers motherland here comes another satellite artist ettore moni with his series in the house it's an ongoing project with photos taken on 4x5 or 8x10 sheets and Ettore will present his latest photos in the Parablau Gallery starting in May. Another take on family lockdown comes from Federico Tisa and Mr. Incredible. Mr. Incredible is a superhero who helped Federico's son Nicolo through these difficult days and weeks of isolation, of Covid isolation. Now, those guys seem to have fun. Um, they are depicted in Gabriele Galimberti's epic series, The Americans, which portrays and reveals the absurd world of American gun nuts who proudly show off their weapons for the photographer. Gabriele's series has won multiple awards already and our visitors stumble upon this series in all areas of the museum, starting at the entrance and ending up with one last large image in the cafe up in the tower. The Americans frame this counterpart exhibition, so, so you could say. Yeah? In contrast to the Americans, Nina Welch Kling handed in a very quiet, very poetic series she took on the streets in Manhattan of passers by. Literally passers by because Nina positioned herself with the camera pointing to a colored wall or a colored surface and she hit the shutter when somebody passed by. 
equally poetic Peter Pflügler's autobiographic take on the suicide attempt of his father and the traumas that followed, the title of his series is Now is Not the Right Time. We walk a little further now in the main exhibition room and pass Robin Hinch's series Vahala, shot in India, Niger, Poland and in Germany. Robin writes in the catalogue, The photographs uncover the contradictions of the promise of perpetual growth, photographed in sacrificed zones, places where long-term damage to the environment and people is accepted because it enables profits elsewhere. The apocalypse has already begun, even if it's made easy for consumers not to see it. Moving on, the photographer Shelley Wheeler is an MFA candidate at Yale University. Our juror Daniel Blochwitz noted that her presentation is typical Yale school, defamiliarizing her topic so that the form becomes part of the statement. The series is called Enjoy House and it's about these kind of Dis Disney-esque, Kafka-esque houses where you can stage your birthday and, and, and get a photograph with your family. From the other end of the world comes this series from the Russian photographer Marina Diakonova. Now, we tried for months to get her originals from the series The Texture of Fear to Dresden since the photographs, as you can see here, are complemented with different kinds of handiwork, embroidery and so on. But in the end, we had to give up that plan for obvious reasons, and now we are presenting reproductions of Marina series. We move on to another part of the museum now, into the vast camera collection, and fittingly to a series that disguises as snapshot photography, which could, be, could have been taken by one of these cameras, but the series is highly artificially staged. It is Frank Krem's series, The Einsamkeit des Mannes beim Grillen, The Loneliness of Men barbecuing you could say opposite the hallway in a little cabinet we present two photographers Heja Rahiminya from Iran who currently lives in the UK with his series about refugees living in a small East German village in these containers and Nif Shimshon who was born in Tel Aviv and now lives in Canada with his series about his neighborhood park and his new neighbors in Canada Temperatures are severely dropping now. We move on to a blue section of the museum, a blue colored section, and to Hanne van Asche's series Udachne, about the residents of a little diamond mining town in Russia. And onwards again to another part of the world, Ruben Hameling's series Living History, depicting a reenactment of a slave rebellion which took place in 1811, 50 years before the, the American Civil War which also gets very many reenactments, as you might know. We also had some similar series about the reenactment of the American Civil Wars in earlier exhibitions in Hellerau and in Dresden as well. In a new section of the museum, mainly dedicated to phonographic, not, not to photographic, but to phonographic installations, we present Tara Fallot's multimedia series Perfect Pearl, which is about love, or rather the friction between dream and reality in China. One floor level down, in the Computer Science Museum area, we staged an intervention, you could say, with Monika Keiler's work about women in the East German food industry production. And one room further, we contrast these old computers with a fascinating series created by Alfonso de Gregorio. The series is called retained reports and in retained reports Alfonso trained an AI algorithm to invent new portraits based on an analysis of an old Romanian photo archive which is in the public domain nowadays. Originally Alfonso presents these ex novo portraits on electronic ink screens but here in Dresden we decided with Alfonso's consent of course to print them on plastic sheets and light them from the back. In this section of the museum, two very different artworks are showcased together, one by Xiang Yu Long about a young Tibetan yak herder who became an overnight internet sensation two years ago. And since then, his fans flock into his village and the locals in his village try to become TikTok heroes themselves. And the other series is shot by Christian K. Lee. It's called Armed Doesn't Mean Dangerous. And it deals with gun ownership of African Americans, trying to recondition the viewer towards a more positive view of black people carrying guns. 
The last series presented in this section of the museum is Lise Johansson's series I'm Not Here. Lise is a Danish photographer and she staged herself in an abandoned hospital and investigated the relationship between social identity and mental health. Now, in this curious little foyer leading towards the last big exhibition space we occupy this year, we present Sean Lee, another Lee, and his moving series Young Love about young couples in Singapore. Inside this space, called Goldberg Hall, named after Emmanuel Goldberg, a Russian-born crazy inventor who worked in Dresden, check him out on Wikipedia, by the way, uh, we present Quetzal Mauchi's series about children of immigrants. Next to Quetzal's series, there's another photo series about people carrying weapons. Or is it? Rogerio Vieira's series Somos Todos Albos Aquí, We Are All Targets Here, is exactly about that. It's about people killed by police officers because they were mistaken to carry a firearm. On the opposite side of the hall, we placed large display cabinets showcasing Jerry Takigawa's series Balancing Cultures. It's an autobiographical like puzzle game, you could say, and it deep dives into Jerry's family history, addressing xenophobia throughout the decades and centuries in, in America. Well, thank you all very much for your patience and your curiosity so far. We are at the end of our little... A stroll through the museum. If you want to dive deeper into the artwork, may I recommend ordering our 2022 exhibition catalog, which features all the series I just mentioned printed on individual sheets, like little art portfolios. And it also gives you some more background info about our finalists and their work. You can order it online via portraits hellerau.com. And of course, if you dream of being part of the Portraits Project sometime in the future, why not take part in our next competition, which starts this fall. So thank you for now and uh, bye bye.